Hi everybody, it's Karen McCullough, and today we're gonna to talk about your self-awareness, and I'm gonna give you a tool on how to grow it, so stay tuned. Self-awareness, everybody's talking about it. They say we need it, right, in order to be a good leader. But the question is, how do we grow our self-awareness? So today I thought I would take you back. Take you back to 1969, when two psychologists, Joseph Lutz and Harry Ingram, came up with a tool that would help people grow their self-awareness and become more aware of it so they could use it not only for themselves, but to help others. This tool was called the Johari Window. Yeah, Joe and Harry, they put their names together. It came about in the late 60s, but we still use the tool today. So what I thought I would do is take you through a little guided tour of the Johari Window. The Johari window is divided into two segments. The known self, that's us and what we know about ourselves, and the unknown self, maybe the self that we're not aware of that maybe others see. So let me take you through the known self. The known self, it's the self that you show up with every day. It's the self that you choose to share to the world. The known self could be your personality. It could be actually the way you're feeling today. It's the self that you are coming to work with every day, that you're showing up with every day, that people see. Uh, I, I heard Chris Rock once talk about the known self in one of his skits, and he said, when you meet somebody for the first time, they're not meeting you, they're meeting your representative. And I love that. The known self is your representative. It's who you choose to share. So let's move on to the hidden self. The hidden self are things that you know about yourself that you keep to yourself. They could be your fears. They could be some of your negative emotions. These are lessons that when we take the hidden self and we share with others, we help them grow. Uh, I was at a conference the other day and I heard Dave Ramsey talking. You know, Dave Ramsey, he's the big money expert and he helps people get out of debt. He told his story. He told it in about 30 seconds of when he was in his 20s, he went bankrupt and how terrible and how awful and how hard that was to go through. But coming out of bankruptcy, he learned lessons, and he now is a million-dollar speaker sharing those lessons, that hidden self, that bankruptcy, sharing those lessons with the world. So the hidden self is a self that helps us get in touch with ourselves and helps us with empathy when we talk to others about the things that we've gone through. So now let's talk about the blind self. The blind self is the self that others see in you that you don't see. Yeah, the blind self comes about a lot of times when we go to work and we get feedback. People are maybe telling us things that are about us and we have to take that all in. How do you relate? How do you respond to your feedback? Because feedback is others saying what they see in you that maybe you don't see in yourself. One of the best tricks that I've learned to get in touch with my unknown self because I've had to really work on this blind self, especially in speaking, is to begin to listen to begin to listen to what people say about me. And when I hear a word, like when I was doing my coaching, I heard the word that I was very direct. Okay, direct is, is a nice way of saying, maybe I'm blunt. Maybe I've actually said something that hurt their feelings. I've become more aware of that directness and I try to soften it. So when we talk about this blind self, it's about our blind spots, right? And our blind spots are areas where we can improve. If we have the courage, and if we have this thick skin to listen and to grow. So my advice is to start listening, listening to what people say about you and the ones that you wanna really work on and change, absorb them and work on that change. Managing our emotions, managing our emotions is the key to understanding all of this emotional intelligence. When we can manage our own emotions, then we can lead and we can help people manage theirs. We can give better feedback and we can listen to the feedback that comes to us. And let's go to the last self. It's the unknown self. It's the self that you don't know about yourself and no one knows about you. Here's how I feel about that as I've gone on in through the aging process. I believe that every decade, if we take time to go back and look at our accomplishments, to go back and look at the relationships that we formed, every decade is a period of growth. And I hope that when you're in your 20s, you take some of that with you into your 30s and you grow and you take that into your 40s. So the unknown self, I think, unveils itself and it reveals itself every decade as we age. So there you have it. It's the Jahari window. 
It's all about self-awareness, and it's all about tapping in to understanding our emotions, the good ones and the ones that maybe bring us down. Tapping into those emotions, understanding them, and then being able to manage, manage ourselves in a productive way. And in the end, we can help others and manage them with their emotions. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I'll see you later. It's Karen McCullough with another Lesson from the Road.